See now, I don't know about you guys, but I, f I just feel like it's time to just like paint our faces. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know at the moment, makeup and everything like that, like when we do our face, there isn't many people seeing it. My four walls and my dog are just sick of it. <laughs> I just want to give you guys something to look forward to. I want to do kind of like an after post lockdown kind of like moment. A reason to get dressed up, a reason to get glam, a reason to paint our faces. Get excited about makeup again um, and not feel like we have to do it just to stay sane. Makeup lovers, I feel you. Full glam, full everything. I mean, this look that I'm wearing right now, this sort of smoky wing liner glam. Smoky eyes still, but obviously like we've got this sort of feline eye. Full coverage skin, glowy, glossy lip. You guys know, I haven't really done this in a long time. Uh, just because I feel like I haven't need to, but you know what guys, let's make ourselves feel good, why not? Get excited about makeup again and have something to look forward to, you know, whether like we're planning this for our next night out or planning this for our next bar trip or lunch with the girls or before this video begins, I'm dead excited to say that this video is in collaboration with Beauty Bay. We all know about Beauty Bay, okay, it's the place to be when it comes to makeup. They stock so much, right? And I feel like, especially for us in the UK, hard to find brands. I say the UK, by the way, they do shop, ship, what? <laughs> shop, <laughs> ship worldwide. Um, so any of us, wherever we are in the world can get our mitts on them. Products for everything. Um, and I feel like they add things all the time as well. So like, I, I'm constantly looking. I constantly have a beauty based shopping list. They're a go-to for a lot of people, right? It's definitely a shopping destination when it comes to beauty products that I go to. So the products I'm using today are, yeah, a few of my favorites. I have lots of favorites, but these are a few. I'm really excited about that. And I'm excited to, yeah, share this look with you guys. So if you do wanna know how I did this, the products I used, you guys know what to do. Okay, we are fresh out of the shower. Um, I need to put some lip balm on because my lips are crusty as hell. <laughs> I mean, you guys would have seen in the intro the kind of look that I want to go for. Um, I think I just want to put my whole makeup collection on my face. <laughs> I'm thinking glam, I'm thinking smoky, I'm thinking extra as fuck, you know? I'm thinking I want to like it back, like slick everything back. Kind of like do the style of makeup that gives you the pullback without the injections. You feel me? Let's bring you guys in and then we can get to it. I wanna start by laying down kind of the, the first like original base color and then we can work everything on top of it. I wear cream contour, but even if you don't and you know, you put on bronzer, I kind of want the eyes to seamlessly blend in with the bronzer. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna pick up this. This is a darker concealer. I love this to kind of cream bronze. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Amber. I'll speak about this a bit more when I use it later on, but what I wanna do, kind of want to map this on roughly in the area that I want it. Guys, you need a little bit of this product. A little bit goes a freaking long way. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm kind of hitting that, that triangle shape. You literally, that, that will do. That is all you need. To blend this, I'm going to kind of pat it into my skin, dragging it back, kind of dragging the product back into the crease as I go. Pan the product as well will allow it not to like go crazy and like go all over your face. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all the way back to the temples. Once you've got a rough bend like this from tapping, I'm then going to sort of like Tap and buff. This is such a cool method. Honestly, I used this in my, I think it was my Rihanna video. Such a sick way to kind of get that seamless blend. Cause obviously it's a liquid. It's just gonna like blend like that. Cool. So pretty much we shouldn't have to touch back here. We should just be able to work on the, like the eye and be, be cool. Ugh, now it is time to whip out the eyeshadow palettes. I mean, listen, you would have definitely seen these on my channel before because I raved about them before. I love them. These ones here, I'm just kind of sneak peeking them because they've got like some groovy new packaging. I just think these eyeshadow palettes are wicked. I think for the price that you pay, but the quality that you get with it is just like, you you can't debate it, it's sick. I'm talking about Beauty Bay's own brand, their eyeshadow palettes. I think they have loads of them, right? I think they have nine pans, 16 pans, 42 pans, a variety of color stories, neutrals, bright, shimmers, mattes. Like I said, the price point, hella cheap, like so affordable, I think. I think that, I think it's like, my brain needs to like, I'm just gonna have to get my, just get your phone out, Jordan. Right, cheapest one is £6.50 and the most expensive is £23. Like, bitch, that it, we're not talking about it, that's good. And the packaging, now listen, the packaging isn't everything, don't get me wrong. However, packaging I think is important because that's kind of like the first impression that you get of a product. That's kind of what, it's like the first date. I mean, you guys can check them out on the website. They're all on there. But for example, the 42 nude color eyeshadow palette looks like this. Sorry, mine's a little bit beak because I've been using and abusing. She is beautiful. Like what is on the outside is going to be in the inside. It's like minimal, but it's just beautiful. I have a little explanation on the back, which I love. Color story. This is like the ultimate like smoky eye palette. I'm going to be using this one today. And you get a big ass mirror as well. Another one, the bright palette. I mean, again, speaks for itself. Bright ass pink with that yellow is so cool. Um, and then by the way, if you're looking for like a colored eyeshadow palette, look no further. This one's the baby of the fam. 
the nine one. This one's the fiery matte. So obviously you can imagine it's just like warm toned browns. I mean, if you're chilling on the Beauty Bay website and you kind of want a recommendation from me, what ones to get, the Beauty Bay palettes I think are great. Like I said, I'm gonna dip into the Beauty Bay nude palette. I think this is gonna be perfect for what I want. Taking a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into the color Toast, which is a nice kind of neutral medium brown. You may wanna like give it a little tap because these are pre-pigmented. Holding the end of the brush so I get the least amount of pressure, it would kind of just fluff it on. I'm gonna start to build up the crease, little circular motions kind of building on top of that color that we already did, but I'm not gonna bring it too far back here. This is kind of already doing the job for me. Do you know what I mean? I'm focusing more on the eye, the outer corner here. Kind of what I'm going for. I think I'm actually gonna warm up here a tiny bit. To do this, I'm actually gonna dip into the Brights palette just because I think these two oranges here will be perfect. Just a tad. Focusing that product here, and then we're gonna go up, blend that cooler tone and the warmer tone together. Yeah, I feel like that looks a little bit more like fierce. <laughs> Don't worry about it looking messy or crazy at this stage. I feel like makeup's a process, you gotta trust it. <laughs> so dipping back into the nudes palette, tempting this sort of darker medium brown. Pack that on that brush, and then I'm gonna just pack it onto the lid. Back in with that transition color brush, right in that crease, just to blend the two together. Together. I want to kind of like try and wing out that dark brown that we just put on the lid ever so slightly But I don't want to do the most because I don't want it to like go too far up here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my brain. Keep blending pals. Keep blending. You want to switch back and forth between the brush you packed on the lid shade with and the transition brush That way you try and get the best like seamless blend that you possibly can. He is as well Add products slowly. That way you get focus time. Do you know what I mean? And you, you're not like gonna Risk effing it up. <laughs> now, okay, we're gonna step this up. We are gonna smoke this out a little bit more with a little bit of black eyeliner. I'm gonna pick up this. This is so bomb. Like, if you don't know about this, like, get to know because it's kind of, like, changed the, like, black eyeliner game a little bit for me. These are by a brand called Silver Beauty. They're their Hydra liners. Mine is in the black shade, so this is in Grease. They have a shit ton of other colors, though. Like, I feel like I need to hop on Beauty Bay and kind of start to collect them because now that I have one, Kinda need them all. Basically, what this is, it's kind of like a solid cream right now. And basically it's a water activated paint, I guess. When you wet that brush and kind of get it going in there, it comes to life and it becomes like, it comes like a liquid liner. It's wetter though, so it's a lot more smoother. It dries down completely matte. It's like smudge proof, transfer resistant. It's so opaque. What you want from an eyeliner, right? This is gonna give you that. Sick. I wanna grab though, grab an angled kind of eyeliner brush. I feel like one like this would be perfect. Basically, the thinner you get it, the better, because then you're gonna get the best, like, precise line. Shake it up. I'm using a setting spray to get it wet. You can literally just use water if you don't want to, but I feel like I have this to hand, so soak her up. Don't be afraid to, like, get this juicy and wet, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see that? Like, it's on there. I wanna line my lid, so I'm gonna go right into the inner corner. I think I'm gonna cut cat what? tied this out in a bit but for now i'm just gonna leave it all the way to this outer corner and then this outer corner bit though i will thicken up as if you're gonna do the wing but kind of without the wing pull out a tiny bit but nothing you know crazy just like that reason why i'm not doing the most just yet is because i'm gonna pick up the black in the palette by putting that silver eyeliner on underneath it will keep the shape that we want and then blending the black on top will soften it into that smoky eye once the lashes on that i feel like we'll be good to go right Hmm. Time to finish off this eye with some lashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chuck on some mascara real quick. Never kind of fussy with what one I use, especially when I put on lashes because we're just about to cover them up. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw some on. The one I am using, if you do wanna know, is the Makeup Revolution Blowout High Volume Mascara. This is great for length, I think. The real question is when it comes to lashes, do you wanna go big or do you wanna go home? Do you know what I mean? I'm about to be so annoying. Okay. <laughs> you know when you have that pair of lashes just like chilling around in your room and you're not quite sure what it is because you've worn it before and the box is gone? That is his ash. I apologize. I will find out what these are though and um, leave it down below, okay? But these are pretty much just like winged out cat eye shaped lashes. Super wispy. You can see they're longer on the outside than they are the inside. They're just giving that cat eye effect. so much. Lashes save the day, period. This look is like simple, but I feel like it's effective, right? But a bang average look, say you stick on some lashes, picture good to go. Okay, sweet. Now that the lash is on, I'm going to pop off camera and do the other eye. You guys know the drill. We still do have a few things to do, but I'm going to finish that up once I've kind of got the skin and the under eye and everything done. Let's get to it. For the skin, we're of course going to start by prepping it, priming it. Listen, I'm about to put two primers on my skin. Do you need to do that? No. Is it a little bit excessive? 
probably. They do different things though, and they give the skin different finishes, so. First one is the Mega Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Skin Primer. This little guy, so it'll um, prepare moment. I'm just gonna put this on the outer parts of my face because I do have oilier skin, kind of like keep your skin type in mind. You see that glow? She's good. Finish I like to my skin. I do like it to have it, its own like natural glow, but I want to like hold back the oils where I need to hold back the oils. Do you know what I mean? Primer two. Okay, this is a little boosh. She's luxe, but let me tell you, she does bits for your skin. This is the Illamasqua Matte Veil Primer. They do have an original one as well, but you know that my ass got the matte one. Hmm. Can we please just talk about the fact that this primer literally comes with its own like baby spoon? This though is gonna go more in the like center of my skin. I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend that in. This kind of smells like yogurt, you know, but in like the nicest way. The consistency of this is lovely. It's kind of like a gel moisturizer hybrid. You know, when something feels really cooling and just like, mm on the skin. Also as well, as you blend it out, it kind of thickens up. So you can kind of feel it like going into a primer. I know that sounds like really strange, but I feel like it literally does give your skin like a veil. It gives you that nice like smooth surface to work with. Skin is prepped, we are ready for foundation. I'm gonna take it over to Makeup Revolution. Use this before on my channel, you guys know how I feel about this. The only thing, right, I've never actually re-picked up this foundation until today. That is because I finally have my this freaking shade. Yes. <laughs> it's the Make Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in F9.5. Also as well, can we talk about this huge ass applicator? Look at that day foot. <laughs> I find the easier way to apply this is just kind of map it on. Nose, forehead. I'm gonna stick with that for now. I'm actually gonna use a brush this time to blend it in. I've been enjoying a brush over a sponge as of lately. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Coverage. Yes. Finish. Yes. I feel like the brush as well gives me that like optimum coverage. You know, you get the optimum thing out of the foundation. But I also feel like that just smooths that on. Like that is literally floor to the list. As floor to the list as it can be, but it, you know, fake it till we make it. I mean, like watch this coverage. My skin's pretty good at the moment though. Thank God, even though I am on my period as of right now. I feel like I'm always on my period. Like, I feel like I'm always saying to you guys, oh, Period. But look at that, it looks beautiful. It's a really, really nice sort of satin matte finish. It does dry down a bit more. I feel like it's a makeup y foundation, but like not in a bad way. Not a risky foundation. You know, you, you can like rely on her, she will last and she will hold up. Um, yeah, I love this. And it's so cheap as well, because it's drugstore. Even better. Concealing now to uh, sort out these bags and highlight. Like I said, we're hopping back to the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is in Creme Brulee. This concealer is so good. I have never used it on my channel before, and I don't know why, because if you want coverage, pick this bad boy up, like it's so good. In a corner, kind of down the sides of my nose. Up here, to really lift this area. Underneath my lip, I'm going up towards my cheekbone. Again, this is gonna lift. Down my nose to highlight, forehead to highlight, a little on my chin to highlight. And that's it, that's all we need. I used to be like, right, whole thing. Doing it in this method, rather than like a big triangle underneath your eye, you're gonna notice so much of a difference. It's gonna lift, conceal, brighten. It's just it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a fun time. Starting off with the highlighting areas. Kind of get that blended. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chill for a sec. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, Teddy nearly popped out. <laughs> chill out. Let this do its thing for a sec. Giving this a moment to settle on the skin will actually give you optimum coverage out of a concealer. Not that this concealer needed it because it's so good. Not only that though, but it will help to keep the concealer in the exact area that you want. Where it's kind of setting down, it's going a tiny bit thicker, a little bit drier. Still will blend out. Don't freak out. Oh. Look at that side compared to that side. I actually look like a different human being. <laughs> and you can already see it. It's kind of like reverse contouring. Definitely helps your cheekbone to kind of like pop. Ugh, it's just so good. Let's repeat this same process on the other side of our eye. Listen, we are concealed, baby. I mean, we are going full coverage. Listen, this is like, this is gonna be our after lockdown situation. We need to be like, snatched. <laughs> it's gonna feel a little bit weird, isn't it? Like putting on a full face of makeup. I mean, I have been doing it occasionally in lockdown, but like no one's seen it, so like, Listen, bitch, I film and then I take it off. <laughs> you guys know, cream contour always. So we are dipping back into that Jouer concealer in amber. Cheekbones. I only need a little bit. That will be like more than enough, you'll see. Up here. Actually, no. I'm gonna do this side first, then this side in case it like dries down. Press this into the skin and then start to bring the brush upwards towards that temple. Obviously you're picking up product. 
as you go so it kind of diffuses it off and gives it that sort of more ombre feel but uh, that, that looks fucking crazy I'm just doing a rough blend right now, kind of like a rough sculpt because I will take my foundation brush, go over the top of this, and like, look at that. Easy. What was that? It wasn't blended, it wasn't blended. Whoa, a little bit down my nose as well. Okay, not, not contour my nose, you guys know how it is. I love a good like cream concealer or foundation or something to cream contour. I mean, I have my exceptions of like products that I love, but I feel like with a concealer, it's made to be a bit more like blendable because obviously I can see you completely blend out. Sometimes cream contour products can be really like stiff and hard and rock and I'm like, what? It's not what it's about, do you know what I mean? I feel like as well, cream contour does just make everything else last so much longer. Kind of like layering up product, isn't it? You know, when like you cream contour and then you put powder over the top, kind of securing it in fully. Does that make sense? Cool, I think we are pretty much blended. Any edges around the eyes, I will fix with eyeshadow in a bit. The fact that Beauty Base stock the RCMA powder makes me so happy because I feel like this can be so hard to get hold of. The original RCMA no color powder, I love this stuff. By the way, you get so much product as well and it literally lasts me a lifetime. I have use this numerous times and it doesn't even look like I've touched it. I have. I just don't like the packaging. That's the only thing. Before I pick any up on my sponge, I'm going to go in and just tap underneath my eyes to get rid of any creases. Just got it on the back of a palette. I know. Gross. <laughs> pick it up, go in and pat. I don't leave underneath my eye to bake, but I do put some on the sides of my nose just to help sculpt. And I'll just leave that there for a little while to do its thing. Also here, I leave it for a second just while I set the rest of my face. Only here though, I don't go all the way back up here because I don't want to create that line by putting it here. You'll get the sculpt, but without, you know, the line. Then everywhere else, I'm just going to carry on pressing that into my skin. Well, the middle part, the center T-line area. Then, powder on a big brush. This is what I'm going to use to set the rest of my face. My face is pretty set though. I feel like all the products kind of set down on their own, so they don't need a lot of help. Dust any off and then set anywhere and dust off any powder as we go. I feel like my skin could do with a little bit more color, right? So I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Bronzer. This is 05 Soleil, I think that's how you say it. This is beautiful. This is like, um, reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Kind of has that same concept, you know, that sort of glow in with the color. This is beautiful as well, look at that. I use this all the time. It was in my everyday makeup look, I'm pretty sure, because it's that good. Swirl in and let's hit the places where we put that cream bronzer. Y'all ready to see the natural glow that this gives your skin? Look at that. If you don't want to highlight, which I'm not sure I will today, I kind of want to keep this more matte. Well, maybe I won't highlight as much. <laughs> Really want the skin to kind of have that super bronzed feel to it. So I am gonna go ham. I am gonna keep dipping in. Don't judge. Beautiful. Cool. Right, put it down. Maybe a little bit more. Put it down. The blush I'm gonna use is the BH... <laughs> BH Cosmetics Vanilla Orange Truffle. This is kind of like a four color blush. I feel like these ones have like a glow, kind of like a highlighted blush, kind of like a blush topper. And then these ones are what give me the color. I am gonna go in with this shade here. These are pigmented. Be careful. I always like to go in with a duo fiber brush because I feel like it picks up a nice amount of product. Beautiful. How gorgeous that color. It's just giving me all types of warmth and I'm here for it. Do we need to finish off with a little bit of glow? Maybe a little, yeah. Maybe a little. To do that, I'm gonna dip into the Be Perfect and M -M Mitchell Sub-Zero palette. Made it in Lifestyle, I'm gonna mix. Beautiful. Thing is, highlighter just speaks itself. I don't need to tell you that that's good. A little bit here, just a little. Lovely. Then before we do the last step, which is the lips, I'm just gonna finish off the eyes and create like a really, let's get this spoky. Taking a black coal liner, any one that you have, it really doesn't matter because this is just gonna go straight into the waterline. I'm also gonna put it up here as well, which feels so weird, but trust me, it makes all the difference. Oh, it actually tickles, I swear. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Once we've done that, picking up the Beauty Bay palette again, I'm gonna dip into the black. Try and get this as close to your lash line as you possibly can, just to give that cold pencil a bit of a gradient down onto the lower lash line. Buff all of that out using that same brown that we used all over our lid. Then you know I said earlier I wanna create that inner corner cat look. Back in with the silver eyeliner. Extend right in here. Kinda just pull it out ever so slightly and bring it back into the tear duct slightly. And then you get that like carry effect. We're like that. 
It would do. On to lips now, guys. So Beauty Base stock, the LA Girl. LA Girl's really hard to find over in the UK, so there you go. Perfect Precision Lip Liner. This is in Bare, which is a really nice sort of like brown tone nude. Once I'm done lining, I'm gonna fill them in a bit because the product I'm gonna to use to fill them in is quite light. So this will kind of help give us a base. The actual lip product, guys, I'm so stoked to share this because I feel like it's a product that none of us knew we needed. But then as soon as you have it in your life, you're like, where has it been? To pick some, I think that's how you say the brand right. This is called their Cosmetic Emulsion. This is in number 0230. That's the shade. It's like a, like a nude, con it's actually kind of like a concealer shade. This, right, it comes in different like tones and stuff like that. You can use this literally everywhere and you can use it for whatever you want on your face on your lips on your eyes on your body use it as pigments use it like mix into foundations i don't know maybe to make them last longer versatile and i just think these are wicked i don't have anything like like this in my makeup collection they're transfer resistant um not like drying they last for a long time that's why they're good to mix in with stuff i mean head over to beauty bay and look at the description of this and you'll be like Poof. i'm gonna take a little bit into the center of my lips. That looks light, but bear with. Put it in. This is gonna give me, you know, that really old school nude lip. I kind of wore this when I was like 13. That. Of course you could actually put like a lipstick on and then use this to lighten it. But I really just like this on its own. And I know some of you might be thinking, Jordan, why don't you just use a concealer? A concealer after a while can really dry out your lips. And I'm not saying I wouldn't ever use a concealer, but also at the same time, like, you know? <laughs> Should we finish off with a gloss? Yeah, okay. Who remembers the Jouer um, lip toppers? Oldie but a goodie. Ugh. Stop it. These literally are like metallic in the nicest way. But they feel like a lip cream more. Like a really thin lip cream as opposed to like a lip gloss. So there's no stickiness. You know what I might even do for the shits and gigs? I'm gonna add some faux freckles, just a few. I mean, as soon as I have this palette, I'm gonna go back to like my old way of doing freckles using eyeshadow. Raw sienna up here, I feel like would be perfect. Kind of like any sort of light warmish brown. Pop a few on and obviously where it's eyeshadow, you can run your finger over it and it will like blend out. Last thing to finish off, a little bit of setting spray. I've never used a setting spray from this brand, Skinnavia, but I've had nothing but good things. This one's nice as well, because this is the um, the bridal one. So this is actually made for like brides, obviously all day, you know, they don't want their face to move. Mine Mist Oil Free Paraben Free. I um, mean, it's the makeup finishing spray, bridal. So let's give it a shake. A little bit more. Spray the shit out of it, basically. We do not want this to move. Last thing to do is to sort out this on my head. It's like dried now. See how quick my hair can dry. <laughs> then once I've done that, um, I can come back and we can, um, yeah, finish this off. We are done, finally. What do you guys think of this look? Do you know what? I gotta keep it real with you. I think this could be my next look. Neutral, but smoky and sexy and sultry. And it's just, when I like paint my face, especially when I'm going out, like I want those vibes. I feel like a lot of us will feel comfortable in a look like this. So yeah, I hope, hope you like it. Let me know down below. I'll be chilling in the comments. I will also leave a link to everything that I used in the description box. So yeah, if you do want direct links, it's all gonna be there for you. A massive thank you to Bay for working with me. It was cool to, uh, to do this with you guys. So thank you. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Stay safe and yeah, I'll see you all soon. Mwah.